Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about the logarithm of a number. So first, define muna natin ano bang ibig sabihin ng isang logarithm. So let A, B, and C be positive real numbers such that B is greater than 0 and B is not equals to 1. Okay? So the logarithm of A with base B is denoted by log then, yung A natin, ito yung ating number. So, yung small letter B dito guys, ito naman yung ating base. Okay? And it is defined as C equals the logarithm of A with base B if and only if A is equals to B raised to C. Okay? So, as you can see guys, uh, yung small letter B dito, yan yung ating uh, base doon sa ating exponential form. Okay? Then, yung C natin, sa may left side ng ating uh, equation, yan naman guys, yung ating exponent. Okay? So, take note that the logarithmic functions and exponential functions are inverses. Okay? And in logarithmic form, the logarithm of A with base B, B cannot be negative. Okay? Kaya sabi natin sa definition kanina, B is greater than 0 and not equal to positive 1. Okay? Then, the value of the logarithm of A with base B can be negative. Okay? Yung value natin ang pwedeng maging negative o yung kanyang exponent. Okay? In exponential form. So, let's try our first examples. Rewrite the following exponential equations in logarithmic form whenever... Possible. So, kung tanda natin, sabi natin kanina, si logarithm of A with base B equals C is parehas lang guys ng ating um, B raised to C equals A. Tama? Kung saan yung B doon sa may um, base natin, yan yung base natin sa ating exponential form. Okay? So, try natin guys yung letter A. Uh, first, we have 7 square equals 49. So, in this exponential form, yung 7 natin, guys, ito yung ating base. Okay? So, pag sinulat natin yung ating um, logarithmic form, that is log or the logarithm with base 7. Okay? Then, ang number natin, guys, is yung nasa right side, which is 49. Nakuha? Then, yung nasa may right side ng ating um, logarithmic equation, yun naman yung ating exponent. So, in our case, ang exponent natin is 2. So, equals positive 2 tayo dito. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang equivalent na logarithmic form ng ating 7 square equals 49 is parehas lang yan, guys, ni logarithm of 49 with base 7 equals positive 2. Nakuha? So, let's proceed to example number 2. Uh, we have 27 raised to 1 third equals 3. So, applying the same procedure, ang base natin dito is 27. So, that means meron tayong logarithm with base 27. Okay? Then, yung ating number sa ating logarithm is yung positive 3 equals the exponent. Ano ba yung exponent natin? Yung one third. Nakuha guys? So, let's have letter C. Sa letter C naman, ang ating base, we have m minus 2, tapos ang exponent natin is cube, equals x. Okay? So, pag nire-write natin yan to logarithmic form, we have the logarithm with base. So, ang base natin is m minus 2. Okay? Then we have x equals the exponent. Ang exponent natin is positive 3. Nakuha guys? Next, letter D. For letter D naman, uh, we have e raised to x equals positive 3. So, in our case, ang base natin is e. So, we have the logarithm with base e. Then, yung number natin which is 3 equals to dun sa ating exponent. So, ang exponent natin dito ay x. 
Ako ha, guys? Then, last one, letter E. For letter E, we have 1 half raised to negative 2 equals positive 4. So, again, ang base natin, we have 1 half. So, that means we have logarithm with base 1 half. Okay? Then, our numbers, positive 4 equals the exponent. Our exponent is negative 2. Nakuha, guys? So, ganyan magre-write ng exponential equations in logarithmic form. Okay, so let's proceed to our next example. Number 2, uh, rewrite the following logarithmic equations in exponential forms whenever possible. So, dito guys, ang given naman is nakalogarithm tayo. Then, we are asked to transform it to exponential form. Okay, so try natin. First example, we have the logarithm of 81 with base 3 equals 4. So again, ang base natin is yung small number dito. So that is 3. Then ang exponent natin is, is yung number dun sa right side ng ating um, logarithmic equation. Okay, which is positive, positive 4 then equals 81. Nakuha? Letter B, we have the logarithm of mn with base x equals p. So, ang base natin is yung x, exponent, yung p, sa may right side ng ating logarithmic equation, then equals, we have mn. Okay? Next, letter C, we have the logarithm of 5 equals m. So, dito guys, uh, kung makapansin nyo, um, invisible yung ating base. Okay? So, tandaan, pagka walang nakalagay na base dito sa ating logarithm, that is understood na 10. Nakuha? So, that means, ang base natin is positive 10 raised to m equals positive 5. Nakuha guys? So, next, letter D, uh, we have the logarithm of 1 over 16 with base 2 equals negative 4. So, our base is positive 2 raised to negative 4 equals 1 over 16. Nakuha, guys? Next, letter E, we have the logarithm of 0. 0.00001 equals negative 5. So, again, uh, yung base natin is um, invisible, so that is understood na 10. Tama? So, meron tayong base 10 raised to negative 5, which is equivalent to uh, 0 0.0001. Okay? So, naiintindihan ba guys kung paano mag-transform um, from logarithmic equations to exponential forms? So next, try naman natin ibigay yung value ng ating logarithm. For our last example, sabi dito, find the value of each logarithm. Okay, so letter A, we have two, uh, the logarithm of 64 with base 2. So kung i-rewrite natin yan to exponential form, okay, so since ang pinapahanap is yung value ni logarithm of 64 with base 2, Okay, oh, let's say uh, yung value natin is unknown which is x. Pag nire-write natin yan, 2 exponential form guys, that is equals to 2 raised to x equals 64. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, pagka mag -e evaluate tayo ng logarithm, ang hahanapin nyo guys is yung exponent ng ating base para maging 64. Okay? So, what should be the exponent of 2 to get 64? Okay, naintindihan guys kung paano mag-evaluate ng logarithm. So, dito, ang exponent ng ating 2 para maging 64 is positive 6. Tama? Since 2 raised to 6 is equals to positive 64, so therefore, the logarithm of 64 with base 2 is equals to positive 6. Okay? 
Next, letter B, we have a logarithm of 4 or logarithm of 256 with base 4. So, what should be the exponent of positive 4 to get 256? So, since uh, 4 raised to 4 is equals to 256, so therefore, the logarithm of 256 with base 4 is positive 4. Okay? Next, letter C, we have the logarithm of 32 with base 1 half. So, what should be the exponent of 1 half to get 32? So, since uh, 1 half raised to negative 5 is equals to um, positive 32, so therefore, the logarithm of 32 with base 1 half is equals to negative 5. Okay? Next, letter D, the logarithm of 3 base 1 over 9. So, what should be the exponent of 1 over 9 to get 3? Okay? So, since uh, 1 over 9 it raised to um, negative 1 half, tama, is equals to positive 3. Kasi pagka tinake natin si negative, ibig sabihin magiging positive 9 to. Then, raised to 1 half. Ibig sabihin, square root nun, di ba? Square root ng 1 over 9 is positive 3. So, therefore, the logarithm of uh, positive 3 with base 1 over 9 is equals to negative 1 half. Nakuha? Last, uh, letter E, we have the logarithm of 81 with base 3. So, what should be the exponent of positive 3 to get 81? So, since 3 raised to 4 is equals to 81, then the logarithm of 81 with base 3 is equals to positive 4. Nakuha guys? So, ganyan lang mag-evaluate ng logarithmic expression. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope naintindihan nyo guys kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng logarithm. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!